subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. A drug called fentanyl is so powerful, if you simply touch it, you can overdose quickly. The opiate was developed to treat extreme pain and is usually prescribed to advanced stage cancer patients. It can be 100 times more powerful than morphine. This photo shows the amount of heroin that can cause an overdose and the amount of fentanyl that can cause the same effect. An illegal version of the synthetic drug has been popping up all over the U.S. For decades, Interstate 95 has been notorious for its role in the illegal drug trade in America. Stretching from Florida to Maine, this corridor gives cartels easy entry to major cities. Misuse of substances like alcohol and drugs is a growing problem in the U.S. And teens and young adults are most at risk, with half of all new drug users being under the age of 18, and one in five high school students having abused prescription drugs. Additionally, one-third of high school students currently use alcohol, 23% use marijuana, and 22% use all forms of tobacco combined. An epidemic of overdoses has plagued the U.S. since the late 1990s, when pharmaceutical drugs like OxyContin led to the first wave of this crisis. Subsequent, increasingly deadly waves would occur when prescription drugs gave way to heroin use which was then overtaken by synthetic opioids like fentanyl. Around 2019, a new wave began that would be even worse still. The fourth wave, I think the definition of it is still being debated. I would personally define it with a few different characteristics. So the first thing is what we call polysubstance use. You know, if you talk to people, it's, it just hits you over the head that people are switching to mixing opioids and methamphetamine. I mean, it's impossible to not notice. Uh, as a consequence, you can see a use pattern where folks will be using an opiate to deal with the physical dependence that comes with opiate use and to stave off withdrawal symptoms. And then at night, they'll not want to sleep. Combining drugs that have very different effects can be extremely dangerous. Methamphetamine and cocaine, they can cause stroke, they can cause heart attack. And sometimes when people use them in combination with opioids, which have an opposite effect of stimulants, kind of relax them. Social distancing and remote health care during the COVID pandemic made it much more difficult to treat drug users with some of the most effective tools, such as the overdose reversing drug naloxone and buprenorphine, which is a drug used to treat opioid dependence. The fourth wave is also marked by an uptick in racial and ethnic inequality. And we're really seeing it's communities of color that are bearing the brunt of this crisis now. So in 2019, the black overdose death rate caught up to the white death rate. And in 2020, it overtook it considerably by a large margin. So look at the fact that black Americans have been six times as likely to be incarcerated as white Americans. Those of us who are in this field have reported for many decades that the risk of overdose is extremely high for people who have just been released from prison or jail. Experts believe that the recent popular support for needle exchanges, decriminalization, and other harm reduction methods could help curb overdose rates in coming years. One thing that's very encouraging is that decriminalization of drugs is wildly popular in the United States. Unfortunately, we don't live in a country where wildly popular things are actually enacted in law, right? I mean, unfortunately, I'm not very hopeful that we are going to be able to resolve the crisis right now. I fear that it's going to get worse before it gets better because we're still not seeing the kind of coordinated political uh, will that we need to implement big structural changes. Law enforcement says it's just a click away on the internet. They can order it from China. The epidemic of opioid addiction has affected all geographic areas of our country, urban and rural, young and old, and people of all socioeconomic classes. Fentanyl can kill you. Where has this super powerful drug, which kills 70,000 people a year in the United States, come from? Sinaloa, on the west coast of Mexico, the cradle of the largest Mexican cartels. 
It is here that they have made their fortune, first with marijuana. Victor and his fellow police investigators have received a call from a delivery company saying they have spotted some suspicious packages. It's, fentanyl. it's imported from China. Traffickers can make up to one million tablets from just one kilogram of pure fentanyl. The estimated production cost per unit is just one euro cent. Arab jagat ek jung lad raha hai. Dushman hai ek drug, jiska naam hai Captagon. Captagon ek uttejak drug hai, jo gair kanuni hai, aur lat lagane wala hai. Arbo dollar ke is drug karobar ka, Syriai rashtrapati Bashar al-Assad ke parivar ke sadasyon aur armed forces ke beech sidha connection hai. Fourth division ek elite army unit hai. जिसका काम सरकार को अंदरूनी और बाहरी खतरों से बचाना है साल 2018 से इसकी कमान राष्ट्रपति असद के छोटे भाई महर अल असद के हाथों में है 11 सितंबर 2022 को टार्टूस बंदरगाह जा रहा एक पिकअप ट्रक दुर्घटना का शिकार हो गया इस ट्रक में दो टन हशीश और कैप्टेगॉन की 30 लाख गोलियां थी इस वाहन पर कोई नंबर प्लेट नहीं थी जो कि सेना की गाड़ी होने का संकेत है साल 2021 में लेबनान में जाने माने कारोबारी हसन दक्कऊ के खिलाफ मुकदमा शुरू हुआ उनकी गिरफ्तारी ड्रग्स पर शिकंजे के इतिहास में सबसे बड़े मामलों में से एक थी उसी साल मार्च में मलेशिया में कैप्टागोन की एक बड़ी खेप जब्त की गई थी जिसकी मंजिल सऊदी अरब थी जहाँ उसकी कीमत दो अरब डॉलर तक होती पाउडर फ्रॉम पाकिस्तान has replaced heroin as the fastest growing drug in the world methamphetamine or crystal meth is peddled by a global network of drug sharks the operation that we conducted along with the indian navy we we were able to uh, seize uh, uh, more than 2500 kg of methamphetamine coming from uh, pakistan it is of course the largest ever uh, seizure made uh, इन इंडिया इन टर्म्स ऑफ इट्स मॉनिटरी वैल्यू इंडिया बींग इन ए पोजिशन विच इज वेरी क्रिटिकल पोजिशन ऑन द ग्लोबल ड्रग मैप ऑन द वन साइड यू हैव गॉट द गोल्ड एंड क्रिसेंट एज वी कॉल इट दैट इज अफगानिस्तान ईरान एंड पाकिस्तान विथ ए वेरी वेरी पोरस एंड डिस्टर्ब बॉर्डर पाकिस्तान अफगानिस्तान एज यू नो इन वॉट काइंड ऑफ कंडीशन दे आर Almost every Australian knows or knows of someone who suffered heroin addiction. It's likely that the raw material for what that addict injected came from right here. A hundred acres of irrigated opium poppy. Three or four kilometres over there, Kandahar, the second city of Afghanistan. And you see where those trucks are running over there? That's uh, the main highway to Quetta in Pakistan. Behind mud walls, this man is preparing a small shipment. He says he'll smuggle to Iran. I take it to another dealer, and he'll turn it into powder, into heroin. Half the national income of this country, 50% of it, comes from growing opium and selling heroin. America's capacity for optimism apparently knows no bounds. Yet the inevitable consequence of their present policies. is more disaster and if you doubt that conclusion then look into the eyes of the next addict you see on the streets of australia his or her next hit may well be in the back of this toyota now on the on the eastern side uh, you have got thailand laos and uh, these kind of countries uh, which which create something called golden triangle so golden triangle is one of the largest producers of uh, opium and opium derivatives including heroin this is the myanmar that the government wants foreign visitors to see this is opium country tucked away near the notorious golden triangle almost 600 square kilometers carpeted by poppies myanmar better known to many people as burma is now the world's second biggest producer of opium after afghanistan Most of the heroin on the streets of Australia comes from here. The United Nations estimates around 200,000 households are involved in poppy cultivation across Myanmar. The harvest has more than doubled in the last decade. 
Closer to the border, it's turned into heroin and smuggled through China, Thailand and onto the global market, including Australia.